If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. For just $1 a month, your name can appear at the beginning of this and many other upcoming videos. I still don't understand how Flim and Flam could have gotten a copy of your book. Uh, I finished straightening up in the library. Professor Rarity, I just wanted to make sure you're definitely keeping these. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> This was a weird episode. Even after watching it twice, the concept just feels so... odd. And I guess that would have been fine if they turned up something interesting, but by the looks of things, I guess they didn't. Twilight and Rarity find out that there's another friendship school and that it's being run by Flem and Flam. And they seem to think there's some kind of scam behind it, even though Chancellor Racist and Star Swirl the Bearded seem to fully trust it. And while the F-Bros seem to have good intentions and are actually teaching good lessons, Twilight still has the feeling that something is wrong and is determined to find out what it is. I should probably start by saying that I actually do like what they do with Star Swirl in this episode. After being trapped in a time loop for a thousand years, he's now getting the hang of modern Equestria and has been learning how to make friends. I really like the idea of this old man of legend trying to fit into a new environment. They also added to his personality, making him go from being a self-entitled jerk to a nice but still naive senior. It presents how Twilight instilled some humbleness into a cranky old man, making him more easygoing and fun to be around. I guess seeing him attend a school feels kind of forced and silly, but it does make sense in a way. It helps to show how he's adjusting to a whole new world. It's also understandable that he trusts Flim and Flam since their first impression on him doesn't involve any bad actions. And I like how he's still learning from Twilight about some things, showing how there's still a lot he doesn't know about and how he can rely on her to learn how to fit in. It's a nice addition that he acknowledges the virtue of standing for what you believe in and learning how to work on your judge of character, even though it's part of a problem that I'm gonna talk about later. But aside from that, this episode just has a lot of confusing things in it. Firstly, Twilight just feels like she's been hit with the idiot stick. Like, there's so many times where she acts without thinking and doesn't even remember she's an alicorn with high-level magic. Like, why doesn't she make herself invisible when infiltrating the office? And why doesn't she simply vaporize the one photo that they took of her? She could have easily blasted it and then teleport out of the room so they wouldn't have any evidence against her. And seeing her constantly jumping to conclusions about the F brothers just feels absurd normal for her. They hadn't been proven to do anything wrong at this point, so her constantly pushing the envelope is going to turn people against her. I just feel like she should be smarter than that, taking the time to think of a plan while keeping a good appearance to keep people's trust. It would have been better for her to just play along while looking for evidence behind the scenes, because the way she's constantly directing everyone that they're up to no good is going to make her look petty and disrespectful from an outsider's perspective. And then there's the fact that this university even exists. Not that it's just there, but how it's supposed to be this big surprising reveal when Twilight gets the flyer. How is it that no one ever noticed or talked about this friendship university in all of the months that it took to build? They couldn't have finished it in just those couple of days, and when we get to the school, we see how it's already completed and structured. They had the building, the scheduling plan, the papers, the school symbol, even all of those school uniforms. This had to have taken a lot of time to set up, so how did Twilight never hear about this university before now? I highly doubt that the F-Bros would have been able to keep it a secret for very long. And then there's the disguises. On every single level, this is a stupid part of the episode. I know that the episode itself says that the disguises are ridiculous, but they end up working anyway, and there's a couple of problems with that. How is it that no one is able to recognize Twilight? Did they not notice the wings on her back? Do they not understand how uncommon alicorns are supposed to be? The least they could have done was had Twilight wearing a jacket so that people not noticing her would have made more sense. And why didn't they recognize Rarity either? I mean, she did put more effort into her disguise, but they saw her pulling at Star Swirl the Bearded. That should have left at least some kind of impression. Did they really not recognize her because she was wearing a hat and messing up her hair a little bit? She wasn't even trying to disguise her voice. And why is it even that this late in the series that Twilight isn't treated with the same respect as Celestia and Luna? She's a princess and she saved the world so many times. Those students certainly wouldn't be judging her the same way they judge Celestia or Cadence. So why is it that they forget that she's royalty who's done more than enough to prove that she's trustworthy?
trustworthy. And of course you got Chancellor Racist, who's still playing the token racist. It's pretty easy to see that he's just being salty over Twilight School to the point where he credits the university out of spite. He didn't give them the full evaluation and still made it official because Star Swirl was there. So far this character has been really one note, and in all the time that we've known him, he's just being a dick. If they want his racism to make sense, they need to show something that better justifies his lack of trust. I know that the Yaks tried to declare war, the Changelings invaded Canterlot, the dragons are huge brutes, the Centaur absorbed all their magic, and... Well, the Hippogriffs and Griffins are really no threat. But what about the times that Equestria was threatened by a pony? Luna, Starlight, Tempest, Stygian, and King Sombra? Even if he does have a good reason for being judgmental, he's doing it in an old, outdated manner. He just comes across as someone's racist grandpa, cartoonishly bigoted and completely unsubtle. The way he acts salty over Twilight School feels like a huge overreaction that isn't justified, considering that he's judging the races based on past actions and not anything current. And lastly, I feel like the F bros have really overstayed their welcome. With everything that was happening, I thought that the episode was going to take a rather interesting approach. We could have gotten a lesson about how not to be judgmental and how people can change over time. But they end up wasting the opportunity, and instead, they're the exact same scammers that they've been for years. And on top of that, they take some really criminal action in this episode. I mean, they took Twilight's book, copied her lessons, and actively made money off of them. She could sue them to oblivion, and they wouldn't stand a chance in court with Star Swirl being a witness. And this is after they blackmailed her. And they also lied about what the money was being used for, which I think goes without saying is a bad thing to do. I'm surprised they haven't been arrested at this point. And maybe it's just me, but I don't feel like the F bros fit into this conflict. I mean, opening a school? That really doesn't sound like them. The F bros are known for deceptively selling some kind of miraculous product. Why are they using a school as part of their scamming? They're supposed to be genius tricksters, but this scam just feels so tacky and obvious compared to other elaborate schemes they did before. I mean, this could have worked as satire on how schools are treating education like a business, but there isn't nearly enough of that being shown. Instead, the episode teaches the lesson to not trust people you've had problems with in the past. And while that can sometimes happen, it's not a very optimistic message to send. As I said before, we could have gotten a better lesson about judge of character and giving people a chance to change. But because the F bros just want to be the same schemers they've always been, the episode just feels like a waste of time and not much was even developed. <sighs> I don't know, this episode was just so dumb and so boring that I just can't think of much reason to revisit it. It's not as bad as some other episodes this season, but it still feels pretty underwhelming. There isn't much quality or element to it that makes it worth rewatching, and I just feel like if the F bros are going to remain as con men, then there's really nothing else that the show can do with them. Even then, Twilight just feels really dumbed down, and the whole scenario has this nonsensical tone that's really hard to take seriously. I'm hoping that season 8 will turn up better episodes as we approach the finale, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So until next time, take care of yourselves, and stay awesome. This is Map, signing out.